Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. We are doing another BAM box. That's right, it says it right here, BAM box. Um, if people remember or if you didn't see it, you should go back and check it out. My February box was a good box for what the boxes should be, but for me personally, it wasn't a good box because there wasn't a ton of stuff that I personally liked. So, all things considered, it was good. Hoping this is more for me than last month, which, mm, Maybe it will be. Uh, the theme is indestructible, so there are a lot of good things that could happen with indestructible. I'm thinking maybe the Incredible Hulk, um, a brick, maybe. No, I'm kidding. But at any rate, uh, interested to get into this, and hopefully it's really awesome. Like I usually say, really looking for an awesome pin and an awesome art print because that's the main reason I get this box. Um, good signed items are always a, a big plus but I know they have to hit a lot of different themes and everything so not a ton of the themes are really going to match up with the types of uh, sign or um, sorry signatures autographs that I really want so I don't expect too much but pin and art print please good ones we'll find out mm, speaking of indestructible this seems like probably pretty indestructible maybe I don't know it up always cut away from yourselves children and adults and middle-aged people do that too all right oh there is tissue paper on top thank you so much for the tissue paper my cat is going to love it as she always does she loves tissue paper might even hear her start playing it in it before this video is over but we'll find out hmm there's something odd on the top so I guess I'll grab that first Seems like a book or something. Build your, build and color your own shield. It's like, oh, this is like little pieces of wood that you can use to build your own Captain America shield, which the Captain America shield is indestructible. So obviously ke keeping with the theme. Let me go ahead and show you that. Um, there's not too much glare on there. That's good. Uh, yeah, so and then on the back it kind of shows what it should look like. I assume you have to paint it Which I probably won't do. I probably won't even really assemble this thing I'll probably give it to someone who's way more into Captain America than I am uh, When it comes to superheroes, I'm not so much into Captain America. I'm I'm more on the side of Iron Man I like Black Panther a lot. I like X-Men, you know that type of stuff. Uh, not a huge Captain America fan Although I love the movies. I mean you know, but at any rate, um, decent item for people. I could see some people being really psyched about that. I'm not super psyched about it, but I understand that it's a good idea. Good idea. All right, next. The pin's in it. Oh, I feel the pin, but I want to like leave the pin. No, actually, maybe not because then it's just like it feels like all flat stuff, which I'm totally cool with. Maybe like an extra art print. Let's just do the pin now. That's fine. Mm, Superman. Also not into Superman. Superman to me is like, I'm sorry, but the most boring superhero. I know he was the original. I know he was real important, all this and that. But he's boring. He's so boring nowadays. Also, from what I understand, because I haven't even seen the movies, from what I hear, the most recent movies with him have been total garbage. So... Just not interested. But, uh, I mean, as usual, they always do a really good job with the pins. It's kind of like a, um, damn it, like the stained glass in churches. Like, that's the look. Which is a decent look. It's just, it's Superman. I don't like Superman. This is another one, just like last month. Last month, I got the Furby pin, and I was just like, hmm. Sorry if that's a spoiler if people didn't watch it, but it wasn't huge on that. I understand that. Also, people could be cool with that. Um, hey, you know, I don't know if the style is, like, the best. It makes him look super boxy and almost like a, uh, a robot, which is a little weird. But, yeah, some people like it. Not my thing. Next. Oh, there's a certificate of authenticity. Oh, it's going to be a comic book is what it feels like. Ooh, okay. I'm down with this. I'm definitely down with this. Because I'm a horror fan, and I like all things horror-esque, and this definitely is. This is a signed, <coughs> excuse me, 
a signed comic of Vampirella. Yeah. Vampirella. Have not read any Vampirella, um, but it's in the horror realm, and I always appreciate getting horror-related stuff. So I'm very excited to be able to crack this open. And the fact that it's signed is very cool. Obviously, you can see, as they typically do, the uh, Certificate of Authenticity on the back. Very good. Uh, does it say... Signed by Anthony Marquez. And Anthony Marquez, yeah, it looks like did the, the artwork on the front. Cool. I'm, yep, okay, I'm down with that. Actually, I just started recently getting into actually reading comics, just so people know. Uh, I don't do physical comics because I don't want to get too much, you know, just keep getting them and getting them and getting them. So I'm doing digital. I'm doing it through Comixology. Um, you can do like... Five, it's like six bucks, like five five ninety nine a month for um, unlimited. But the unlimited for each series only goes up to like five or six of the issues. Um, so I'm just basically using that to scout out um, if you know there's anything that I really like. Thus far, Revival and Nailbiter are the two real strong ones. Also, Outcast is quite interesting. Uh, and anything else at the moment? No, I think those are the best ones at the moment. I can update you on more in other videos. All right, next thing I think is an art print. <laughs> oh my god. This is like totally ridiculous, but also pretty awesome because it's so ridiculous. So, <laughs> Wol <laughs> the newest Wolverine movie just came out, Logan, and obviously it has Wolverine in it, old man Logan. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat yelling in the background because she's upset she's not getting any attention plus she's probably jealous with this but anyway uh wolverine's in low in logan as as is x23 which is kind of like a younger girl version of a wolverine and so they've captured the magic of wolverine and x23 with cats and that's why it's very appropriate that my cat was yelling because that's her cry let's see if you can there you go I assume this is like these are the outfits they had on and it's obviously signed it's always signed I'm um, sorry for all the light the glare but you get the point <laughs> and then like these like the two blades <laughs> that's funny I like that I appreciate that a lot because it's ridiculous and it's cool and it's mainly cool because it's ridiculous so anyway this was number 1109 out of 4000 they did a lot of these so just goes to show, Bambox is getting more popular. And I think there's one more thing in here. Yeah. Might be it. Oh, this would be the autograph thing. And it is. I mean, once again, not a big thing for me personally, but it's a good item for some people. Uh, definitely a good item for some people. So it's a, a signed glossy from the Bionic Woman, the original. Lindsay Wagner, who played the Bionic Woman in the 70s TV show, which is awesome. There you go. That's her. There's her signature. Very cool. That's a great idea. Very, very cool. I love it. I mean, I don't personally. Like, it's not a big thing for me, but I love the fact that they put it in there because I could see a lot of people loving that. And it's variety. You know, it's interesting to see what signatures they're going to have each time. So, done with the box. Uh, like I said, indestructible. As I cover it up. Indestructible. Cool artwork on that. Uh, let's go through see what the other stuff was. Okay, so there was a limited edition of... I don't even know what that one was supposed to be. Chuck Nord. Okay. So there were two limited edition pins, one uh, and, and they were two different types of a Chuck Norris one. Uh, and then there was also an Incredible Hulk one, which was not a limited, as you can see. Uh, they have the color Chuck Norris, and they have the black and white Chuck Norris. Um, here's the thing. With the variant pins, as is the, the case most of the time, um, I wouldn't want the one that's like one color or like two colors. I feel like the regular color ones are better. Um, but, you know, so out of those, I probably would have rather just had like the regular Chuck Norris one. So then we had uh, Vampirella, you know, we're talking about issue number one. And all of those were signed. We have the Bionic Woman signed by the legendary... They say legendary Lindsay Wagner, which is a good idea. 
You, know, you can see they're right up on Vampirella. For some reason, there's rats there. And then they're a little right up about the bionic woman. You could have gotten one of two pictures of her, which actually I think this one's kind of... Well, they're both kind of cool for different reasons. This one's cooler because it's more up close on her, and she's, like, lifting something way up. But this is cool because it's black and white, and it's more, like, classic looking. So, both of them are good. Uh, Old Cat Logan prints by... These are by Jenny Parks, and those are signed, obviously. Um, and there was a special variant that was limited to 500. I did not get the variant one that had... Eh, there's not a big difference between the regular and the, the special limited variant, as you can see. So the regular one was this one that I got, and then the variant just had the X-Men logo in the back. Like, it's the only difference. Which, I mean, I guess that's slightly cooler because of the X-Men aspect, and it actually kind of calls it out to say more clearly this is what this is in reference to, but it's not a huge deal. Um... Oh, okay, and then the two um, wooden things. There are two options for the wooden things. You saw I got the Captain America Civil War shield. You also could have ended up with the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade, which looks really interesting. That would have been a more interesting one to have, but either way, I probably would not build either of them just because I don't feel like doing it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's that, and the teaser for the next time is Revenge, Bad Blood, for April. Sorry, I forgot what month we're in. This is March. <laughs> so for April, it's Revenge, Bad Blood, and there will fe feature items from X-Men, uh, the Toxic Avenger, and the Punisher. Uh, sounds good to me. That sounds like a good one. And they already kind of gave a teaser of something uh signature or uh, autograph wise that's going to be in there for next month and i won't say anything about that on here but uh it sounds like it could be really cool let's hope so anyway uh what did i like overall um good at once again good idea i'm not huge on it maybe i can find a home for that <laughs> i really like this because it's really funny and uh, it's just cool and funny i don't know i like that uh, not huge on the pin. The pins are always really well made, but it's Superman, and Superman is boring. Sorry. Uh, the Vampirella comic, if I'm going to get a comic, uh, I'm happy that it's kind of horror-related, um, so that's cool. I'm excited to check that out. And then the wooden Captain America shield. I understand people would think it's cool, but nah, I'm not going to build it. Once again, I'll try and find someone who's more interested. Maybe my buddy Rich, because he loves this kind of stuff uh yeah so i'll give it 10 but at any rate thank you everyone for checking this out uh tune in for any more unboxings i also do beer reviews on the channel if you're into craft beer um i know a lot more about that than i do these unboxing things <laughs> i'm just saying i've been doing that for over four years with my podcast but this i'm relatively new to so excuse me if i screw some things up or i don't know what i'm talking about and also, excuse me if you're a huge Superman fan and you don't like that I hate him, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, thanks for checking this out. Please, uh, if you could, give me a subscribe. It doesn't hurt you to do that. It helps me to do that. Give me likes. Same thing. Helps me. Doesn't hurt you. And comments, because it's fun to talk to you guys. It's fun. And I'll um, I'll always respond, so don't, don't you worry about that. I'll give you the attention you need and deserve. I will coddle you i will bring you in close like a kitten logan and a kitten x23 with comments though just saying <laughs> anyway thanks everyone for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal <laughs>